Okay, so just like a load of you guys, I love going to my local Top Golf driving range, but also I've brought my own golf simulator with me because I want to know my numbers are absolutely perfect. So today we're going to put down the golf song wave and see just how it compares to your local Top Golf driving range. We're going to play some holes, we're going to hit some shots. We're also going to test our own clubs and the clubs that the guys at Top Golf provide us with to see what the big differences are. And at the end of the video, I have a driver from Dick Sporting Goods that cost me $99. So if you want to see that, make sure you stay tuned and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more golf related videos. But for now, let's set up the wave. Then we put the stand on, we turn on the wave and we pop it down just behind where we're going to strike from so we can see exactly just how far these shots are going. So as you can imagine guys, I love coming here, I love drinking the beer, I love eating the food. Let's see just how accurate it really is. Will it unearth something or will it show just how potentially? Also the World Series is on so we're going to be watching that while we're here in Texas. Okay so we'll kick things off with the irons. We've got a mid iron, a short iron and a long iron. And let's go pitching wedge to start with. So a short iron. Even play a few holes a bit later on. Let's go practice. Blue guest and the blue guest today. And we have, oh, the red flag's 132. But I want to go in line with that. We'll go in line with the blue one. Okay, so we set our pitching wedge both on the top golf and the golf zone. Let's see how this goes. First shot. Okay, not a bad strike. A little bit heavy and a little bit left into the evening sun evening sun 116 flat carry what do we have on here oh we have a 113 total and a 109 carry 75 spin launch angle 30 club of speed 85 would like to think pitching wedge will go further than 105 okay another nice strike just turning over a little bit into the evening moonlight chris will go with now 107 so very very consistent oh I'll tell you what chris 107 106 107 so a lot closer that time spinning at 84 which you would expect ball speed ball speed 94, 94. ball speed 92 90. this is what we like to see let's move up let's go to a mid iron got eight iron here and we'll go current club no change club irons standard eight iron right let's do this with eight iron i'll change it on there as well this is what you have to do when you are comparing it's still freezing by the way it's still cold yeah but i'm very much looking forward to testing these top golf clubs as well eight iron that felt good that felt like a swing where we've played today and you're already loose what do we have? We have a carry of 140. Oh, Chris, it's a 138. It's a 138 and we have ball speed 108. Ball speed 108, it's the same! It's the same. Launch 24 and launch 21, so a tiny bit different there, which is maybe why well, there's a slight discrepancy there, but we are getting a spin of 8.4, which I'm really, really happy with, with the eight iron on the golf song wave. This is where it's really interesting, guys, because how, how precise do you have to be when you are working on your own game? Would you come and just pay for your balls at Top Golf, or do you want to know a little bit more? So I'll try and send this one. Right, I've ripped that. I've ripped that with an A, and that's got to be a 150. Got to be a 150. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. It was a 140 again. 142 carry that time. Ball speed 115. So very, very similar to the ball speed on there. And we have a spin rate of 7,800, which of course it doesn't give you, unfortunately, on the top golf range. Right, one more. Oh, it started left. It did start left. Unfortunately, it stayed left. It wasn't a cut, it was a flat pull. It was, we can see that. 141 40. again. Ooh! 141, spinning at 7,000, 110 ball speed, 109. 109 ball speed. So very, very, very interesting. I did hit a shank. Show them the shank, Chris. No, oh, that was a, I mean, no one wants to see it. The numbers were exactly the same with the shank, but this one. let's top, move top up. Quality. Oh, there's Rangers. Three nil for the Rangers. 
Right, Chris, I'm gonna, before we get copyrighted for showing, we're going to change this to six iron, and then we're going to have a go with some of the clubs that you do get here at Top Golf on the Top Golf range at Frisco. So far, very, very impressed because you think, I mean, although that is a more a more budget simulator, it's still not cheap. It's still a couple of thousand pounds or dollars or six thousand, should I say? The fact you can come here and hit range balls and be similar, six iron. Felt good again, tiny bit pulley. Not my best strike. It's been a long day of filming. One six one. What have we got here? One seven four. I think that's more believable, to be honest. We've got a ball speed of one twenty two. So a 20. ball speed of one twenty. But we do get spin rate here at five thousand. I think five thousand is about right there for the spin rate. I'm going to take this one a little bit more probably than what I've got now. Let's go again and let's see. Three nil. You watching? Yeah. Our guys here. Um, we're good for beers at the moment, thank you. Good. Yeah, Perfect. yeah. Not a chrome soft this one. What we got? Just a practice. Ooh. I think we got lucky with the chrome soft. This is the home of the PJ of America, so maybe that the first few were a little bit random, Chris. Come on. All we want is consistency, isn't it? Oh, that was awful. Oh, if you miss it, that really would <laughs> oh, be interesting. Yeah, I mean, it really hurt my hands, that one. It still goes to 137 with a six iron. That is disgusting. 106 ball speed. Uh, we've got 108 ball speed this time. We've got 137 oh. total distance. Oh, close. Yeah, Not I'm bad. quite happy with that. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go one more. In fact, let's change it up. Okay. Let's change it up. Oh, let's go mid iron with these bad boys. This is a seven, the others were a six. We'll be totally transparent. The grips feel very, very loose. Seven. Why don't I just put these clubs in my bag? Because every time we come to Top Golf, I absolutely well. rip them. One five five, that's interesting. My usual seven iron carrot is a one six five, and on here, oh, I've got a one five six. So literally, like, we look at there, we look compare those, very, very similar. We've got ball speed at 123, ball speed at 120. It's a couple of miles in it, it's a couple of yards in it. What more realistically do you want? And Chris, we look at all these expensive clubs, we look at all these clubs, do, do we just go with these? A very, very, very graphite shafted seven iron. I mean, well, let's have a look at these. This is the Top Golf Strata Special. Very surprised that Callaway haven't started implementing their own clubs in here. Really, really impressed with how accurate both these systems are, to be honest. I mean, again, I've absolutely nailed it. It's a lovely high cut. It's going to launch fairly high, but here we have a ball speed of 120 again, a carry of 154. What do we have on there, Chris? We have 163 carry and 166. Right, that's total. interesting. Which one do you believe? Because we've got the spin rate on the golf zone. What's it spinning at? About six? Seven thousand. Oh, well, for a seven iron, that is absolutely on the nose. But here we only have one five six. Ball speed is very, very similar. Launch it at 17, which is a bit low for a seven iron. A little bit low. So let's go one more. Then we're going to test a couple of drivers because we all know that's what you want to see. That wasn't the best strike. It's a tiny bit left, but it's still up there let's have a look at here first be about a 150 155 ball speed 117 launched at 16 and we have here a 147 total distance 160 so again we have a launch angle of 17 here and we have a launch angle of 16 here spin rate that was only at 4000 i would imagine that's a little bit lower because we are hitting off of a mat ball speed 106 106 so the launch and the ball are very very similar it's picking up slightly different spins there i think because we're off a mat now it's time what difference do you get with a top golf driver and callaway's own paradigm triple diamond driver right first we're going to go with the top golf strata special if you have frequented top golf you will know just how um interesting these drivers are well used well used i think here so we'll change it on here as well. Change club, driver, woods, driver. I think realistically 240 carry is good, Chris. 
Would you agree or would you disagree with that? No, I'd say 220. 220? Right, I so far left it scary, but it's got to be more than a 220. Where are we? Go on, then. Go on, then. 230, bang in the middle of what me and Chris said. Ball speed 152, launching only at 10. Let's see what we have. <laughs> On the golf song, we have 239, totaling 266, spinning nice and low at 2200, and a ball speed of 151, which is one mile an hour off what we have here on the top golf range right so 266 is pretty much our max chris is it with that yeah what about if we go do we go do we go callaway i think we'll leave this to another day i think we come back with this bad boy to show them what it's all about guys hit that subscribe button if you want to see this bad boy the dick sporting goods top flight driver tested here at top golf we've got 266 to beat with callaway's own Paradigm Triple Diamond. I think it's got to. If it doesn't, I mean, on both these, we're going to keep comparing them, but if it doesn't, I don't know. What do we say? That is left. That's an old Robinson 4 left, that one. Carry of 258, total 271, ball speed of 161. So here we have a ball speed of 163, but a total of 255. I want one more. I want to carry at least 260. I think... Realistically, I am carrying this driver more than 220 yards. Let's go one more. I feel like here is where you might get let down. You know, if you are using range balls in your own driver, as opposed to just a top golf driver that you do get given. Right, that's smashed. That's smashed. That's a 260 carry, 265 carry, maybe. We have. It's not there, it's a 260 ball speed. Do we have any spin? We don't have spin, do we, on here? 256 carry, 266 total. Spinning at 3-1, so quite a high spin, which is why it would be down there at a ball speed of 159. What was the ball speed on there, Chris? 160. 160, we're not far off. Last one, this one's going out the park, then we're drinking the beer. It's only fair, it's only fair. Right, well that's, struck, bro. that's a 265, maybe 270. It's cold, we're in Texas, it's not summer. 242, 260 total, ball speed 165. That's maybe a bit high for me. I don't think that's the proper ball speed. And on the golf zone, we have 270 carry, 293, ball speed at 163. So pretty much exactly the same. Spinning really low at 1500, which I would expect for a shot like that. I think this is very, very similar. I think you start getting a big driver out like this, a big name driver, you start to struggle getting the ball speed, getting the launch and getting the spin, which unfortunately you can't get on here. But for me, very, very interesting. Guys, what would you do? Would you bring your own simulator? Would you use the Top Golf system? More coming this week. Smash that subscribe button.